Hey y'all, my name is Gregory Ajid. Today, I wanted to share some tips on how to play in the Altissimo register of the clarinet. Welcome back to another lesson video. My name is Gregory Ajid. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're returning, welcome back. If you're enjoying my content and want to support my channel, please visit my website where you can download a PDF of today's lesson. Today's lesson is called Seven Basic Fingerings, Exercises to Connect Registers. Today, I wanted to share some tips on how to play in the altissimo register of the clarinet. So first off, let's define the three registers of the clarinet. We have the shallowmo, the clarion, and the altissimo register. The shallowmo register of the clarinet is from low E all the way to B flat on the staff. The shallowmo register has a dark, rich, and woody sound. <laughs> Also, the notes from G to B flat are often referred to as the throat tones. The clarion register of the clarinet is from B on the staff all the way to high C, and the clarion register has a brighter and sweet sound. And finally, the altissimo register of the clarinet are all the notes above a high C sharp. The altissimo register has a bright, shrill, and sometimes piercing sound. So let's talk about the altissimo register of the clarinet. The first thing we need to do is remove any mental barriers we may have to playing in the upper register of the clarinet. I want you to picture a piano keyboard. We have all of our low notes here on the left side of the keyboard, and on the other side of the piano, we have the upper register or the high notes. And you can see that there's this big long distance that we need to travel from low all the way to the other end of the keyboard and play the high notes. Oftentimes when we think about playing higher notes, we internalize this big long distance that we need to travel and that distance can be intimidating. So the same analogy can exist on the clarinet. We have our low notes and then we have to travel this big huge distance to get to the altissimo register and that distance can be intimidating. <laughs> Thinking of the clarinet's range as this linear journey from low to high is one way of approaching the clarinet. So let's think about the clarinet in a different way. So instead of thinking of the clarinet as this long linear journey, let's picture the clarinet as three horns that exist on top of each other, or the three registers stacked on top of each other. We have the shallowmo, clarion, and altissimo, and they all live on top of each other. The clarinet has close to a four octave range. From low E to high G, we have 40 different notes. However, on the clarinet, we only have about 20 or so unique fingerings. Each one of these 20 fingerings has notes that exist on top of them, and these notes are called overtones. We can access our overtones with the use of our register keys. So instead of thinking of the clarinet's range as this long linear journey upwards, we can actually think about the clarinet as a set of fingerings with overtones that live on top of them. Our first register key is on the back of the clarinet. It's this key right here. And so when we push that key, we go from the shallowmo register of the clarinet, and we're popped up into the clarion register. I'm playing a low C, then hitting the register key with my thumb in the back of the clarinet, and you can hear I'm popped up from the shallowmo register to the clarion register. And that interval is the interval of a 12th. Our second register key is actually our index finger on our left hand, and all we need to do is lift up our first finger. So we'll play a low C, I'll hit the register key in the back of the clarinet, and then I'll lift up my first finger, and now I'll be in the altissimo register of the clarinet. Low C, hit the register key in the back of the clarinet, which is a G, and then I'll lift up my first finger, my index finger right here, and now I'm playing a high E in the altissimo register of the clarinet. <laughs> Instead of lifting your finger all the way off the key, you can actually roll it over just a little bit and cover half of the hole, and that'll also bring you into the altissimo register. So again, instead of thinking of the clarinet as this long linear journey throughout the range, we can think of a fingering like C as three notes stacked on top of each other, and we can access these different notes with the use of our register keys. On the 
clarinet, there's seven fingerings that exist in all three registers of the horn. Alvin Baptiste called these fingerings the seven basic fingerings. These fingerings are a chromatic scale from low A to E flat. We have A, B flat, B with the fork, C, C sharp, D, and E flat. Each one of these fingerings exists in the three registers of the clarinet, and all we need to do to access the different registers is to use our register keys. <laughs> This reminds me of a quote that goes, as above, so below. But in this case, it's as below, so above. And there's nothing really intimidating about playing a low A on the clarinet. When we play this low A, we actually have two other notes that exist on top of it. We have a low A, then when we hit the register key in the back of the clarinet, we'll play an E, and then when we lift up our first finger, we'll have a C sharp. A, E, C sharp. The idea here is that there's nothing intimidating about playing in the low register of the clarinet, Therefore, we need to approach playing in the upper registers with the same ease and technique. Approaching the clarinet like this is one way of tricking our mind into not being intimidated to play in the different registers of the clarinet. The cool thing about these fingerings is that it creates a major triad. We have the root, the fifth, and then the major third. <laughs> The low register of the clarinet is very forgiving. If there are any inconsistencies in our technique, they won't be very obvious in the low register. As we elevate into the different registers of the clarinet, it's kind of like putting a magnifying glass on our technique. If there are any technical deficiencies like biting or poor air support, it's going to become magnified as we go into the different registers of the clarinet and it becomes very obvious in the altissimo register. Connecting the different registers of the clarinet in this way is one way of tricking our mind into not being intimidated by playing in the altissimo. Again, there's nothing intimidating about playing a low A, and we're just gonna hit the register key, and then we're gonna lift up our first finger. Doing exercises like this will help us keep our technique the same, regardless of what register we're playing in. <laughs> As you're starting out, just pick a fingering and try and transition between the different registers of the clarinet. So again, y'all, remember, as below, so above. So if you can play a low A, you can play the different registers of the clarinet. If you're interested in practicing more of these exercises, you can visit my website and download my PDF called Seven Basic Fingerings, Exercises to Connect Registers. This PDF contains 15 different exercises to help you connect the registers. So remember y'all, don't be intimidated by the range of the clarinet. Just think of the clarinet as three different registers stacked on top of each other as so. All right y'all, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this lesson helped you on your journey and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.